finally have something that works. Finally made something. This is my Tesla hairpin circuit. This little thing here, it's not much of a neon, but notice how bright it is down here. And up at the top. Yeah. How dim that is. That's my Tesla hairpin. I'm only running maybe a 15 to 20 thousandths gap on that. I've got two little neodiums on both sides. Shut that off. Anyway. This is a high frequency transformer I dug up. This is a 0.07 MF cap I've got on the input. A little warm. Transformer is a little warm from running it. These are 22 PF uh, capacitors I have on both sides. is an input capacitor was an input and those are running off of this DC to AC power supply which I got at Harbor Freight it's an 80 watt it's one of these I burnt one up already. This heat sink sits on top of these four FETs. This FET here, I ran out. I had I was replace three of them it's replacing this one here there uh, well, this one's a 500 volt 8 amp these are 300 volt 8 amp 7 amp so I had to uh, replace that the big cap here Is this one here it's a 200 200 volt cap in here this one got was getting a little too hot when I ran this because of the modifications I made so that's that's all I could dig up so it really don't have to be that big this will run 400 no, 800 to 6, it'll go 800 to 8,000. It was meant, to, the chip was meant to. It, this one will only run between 800 and about five, 6,000. The, this big blue cap, the timing circuit, is underneath in that chip inside right here the timing circuit for it it varies the 60 cycles is what it does right now it's set for 60 cycles you can remove this and step it up if you get the specifications on the chip in there you kick that up a notch and the little resistor right down there little uh, surface mount Right down in there also gets 
replace with a variable. That's the only modifications I made to it. it was the cap, the resistor got replaced. I had to put heat sinks. Well, I guess if you don't push it too hard at this high frequency, you really probably get away without running heat sinks. If you get, if you mess around with it as much as I did, one of these gonna end up getting popped if you mess around with the high voltage. And this one here, you'll have to keep your eye on that one. But it works. Oh, this is a, uh, a 12 volt power supply Radio Shack, 3 amp. I've done blown the transistor in that thing once, so I had to replace it. This high voltage walks around, it doesn't like to stay in one spot. The fan, the fan is it's a 12 volt fan. Probably don't even need it, but I gotta watch this heat sink here because it's hot that's part of the output I was waiting for it to pop anyway but it never hasn't so it might be the uh, back voltage that keeps popping those things like I said that's a 500 volt the other ones are 300 I believe These power supplies are fairly cheap. They're like, what, 30 bucks? I can open that gap up, but if I do that, I can't run the shorting wires. I can take the shorting wires off and increase the gap twice as much. It actually interferes Officer. The investigation will start inside the police department. Joey says the probe will include 500 orgs. Now it's 6 Six. That may be back. With the FM radio. Well, it does. If I decrease that gap. It'll really get up around the 90 megahertz region. I mean, it'll get just enough to knock out the station on here. But with the shorting bar, you're really kind of limited. But anyway, it works. And this, this little spark, it is white. I mean, that's a very nice. Oh, I can vary the frequency on this thing. Right now it's set at a low end. Now this higher frequency. Gives me a much brighter light. It's still dimmer up here at the top. I think this is. I'd almost say a 300 volt, but I don't think it is 300 volt neon. I can't light the bigger one up, it won't do it. But it works. these 22 PF caps. I, I might be able to go bigger with those. Uh, 
that is maybe to a uh, nano farad cap maybe but I threw those on there I got them fairly cheap they're only like a buck a piece of 2500 volt and I think I don't know what the voltage output is on this transformer if I right now it, it's it's about a hundred and thirty something volts going in Despite the frequency, it still comes out at between 120 and 130 volts. The frequency, the output voltage, it's a 0.8 ohm uh, input, 3.2 times 2, like a 6 ohm output. But it's a high frequency. It's quite, quite heavy. Well, not quite. It's, it's got some weight to it. That's cool. Yeah, I, I'm, you're not pumping no big power into this when you l limit the amount of current that it actually has to push. I mean, we're dealing only with like higher frequency, so yeah, it really doesn't have to work that hard until you crank that knob up and it'll almost kind of short out and then things get warm very fast. But these plug plug's got to lay, it's warm, that's about it, maybe, yeah, it's warm, so, that's what I've got, that's how I did it.